Hi folks, welcome 8th of August 2022. I am wearing a new t-shirt that we are having printed. Uh, you can find it on, on our website, on our Etsy shop. Um, you centre the clay, but the clay centres you. You centre the clay, the clay centres you. Anyway, hope you like it. If you're interested, go there and have a look. Um, what am I doing right now? What I'm doing is actually I'm in the process of... I'm going to recycle some clay. So, I thought I'd just show you how I do that. So over here in these boxes on the table, I've got a ton of clay left over from... Uh, broken up students work mainly so what we're going to do is I'll just show you rough, approximately how I do it this is not a, a, a rocket science but you know what I mean um, so I've got I've just you know get yourself some five gallon buckets like these and what I do is I partially fill them with water now I'm using actually rain water from my water butt to save on my water bill. So I'm just putting uh, roughly a, a third full of water, these ones, something like this. Yeah, we have to pay for our water here, the tap water, so. Where possible, I use the uh, the rainwater, you know. So yeah, approximately a third full. And and then what I'm going to do is I've got some. Seems like I'm running out. I haven't got really enough, but I'm just going to put a little bit of vinegar in each of these. I know what your next question is. Oh, why do you do that, Simon? Well, truth is, I don't really... <laughs> no, I, I, I do know. Um, the reason I add vinegar is it helps... I found that it helps plasticity in the clay. Okay? It helps to render the clay uh, more plastic. So... Alright, so... Let me just swing the camera over here. So over here I've got some, uh, this is clay in leftover from uh, student workshops throwing. So this is what I describe as the, the very fine silty clay that, 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 that comes as a result of hands in contact with the clay as you're throwing all of that, that lovely, this lovely clay. So what I'm going to do, swing the camera back here. I'm going to, because what I like to do is to recycle, to recycle this back into the mix, you see. So, I'm just adding this. So you can do that, just don't throw this, don't throw this lovely fine silty clay away. You actually want to, to keep it and add it back, you see. And by so doing, by so doing you You keep the clay from getting too gritty because what happens is if you're constantly using clay, recycling it over and over again, and you don't add this back, you result it results in rather gritty clay. See, 
Because if you think about it, the clay is losing this part of its essence, if you like, in the, in the water pot. So, oh, I hope I'm making sense to you. Um, yeah, so we want to preserve that and add it back. Right, next thing I'm going to do is just going to get some clay out of these boxes, which I've sort of probably going to be a messy business because I'm going to add this back, you see. Just be careful if you pick up stuff off the floor, you don't pick up any grit, okay? We don't want any grits. It may be somewhat easier, somewhat easier to add the clay to water rather than the other way around. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean. Okay, so. See, these boxes, don't destroy them or burn them or get rid of them because you can use them like this, you can reutilize them. They're useful. Actually short of water, so uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna have to use some tap water because I didn't bring in enough. So, yeah, so there you have it. There you have it, folks. Uh, arguably, I could add a little more, couldn't I? Might as well have them full while we're at it. So you see the size of the, sh the shards of clay that I'm, I'm dealing with here. So as this clay soaks down, slakes down is the word slaking, this is what they're doing with slaking down clay. When it slakes down, it, it will sink down in the bucket. And then I may just add, I may add a little more to it, you see. So yeah, so now you know what I do with clay. Sometimes people ask me, you know, how do you recycle your clay? Well, it's like this. <laughs> Whoa. 
getting my feet wet. All right. So probably uh, what I would do now, ordinarily, I would leave this, leave this to soak. take one of my stirring paddles and yeah you see it's already sinking there sinking down below the, the water level So really, I suppose this is the what we would describe as the the first stage of of the recycling process. Because once it's been in there for a few days, what I'll do is the water that's on the top. You may get that, that much water, you know, it may all sink down. So then I will either add more clay into that, or usually I don't uh, I don't have too much clay uh, to add. In this case, probably just add a bit more, add a bit more to it, you see, like this. Now you want to make sure that the pieces are not too big, you know. Uh, I don't like too thick, heavy, chunky pieces of clay. I like them fairly fine. In that way, in that way they do break down uh, a lot better if they're finer, you see. You don't want thick, heavy lumps of clay that are dry. You want shards of clay like this, you see, just that you can crunch in your hand, ideally. Um, so what I'll do is I'll might as well have the buckets full while we're at it. And add a bit more water on top if necessary. Uh... Oh, look, a chamois leather. Ha ha ha. A chamois leather. Dried up chamois leather. That's the one thing about having chamois leather with a bit of orange on it, like mine do. You, if, you, if that does happen, you see them. Okay. Yeah. So that will. See, some of these pieces are a bit chunky, like that. I, ideally, I wouldn't have them as big as that, but we'll let them go. We'll see what happens. So we just push them, just lightly push them at this stage of the game. Push them down, like that. We'll just add a little bit more water there. And then we're, we're done, really, this stage of the game. I generally don't like to take them to the brim, you know, like brim full, just leave them like a half an inch or an inch down from the top. Okay. So as I said, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, when these have been in here for a few days, they will soak down very, very quickly because they're dry. And that's the secret about recycling clay. Make sure all your clay is at the same level of dryness. That, that is bone dry, thoroughly dry. And then it will absorb the water rapidly and you can then uh, um, leave it there. And after a few days, it'll be just be all decomposed, lovely, beautiful. And you'll be able to take it and dry it out. And to dry it out, you're gonna dry it out on plaster bats. Okay, we'll do a video on that in a few days time okay folks there you have it that's how i recycle my clay and um yeah i've been doing it like that for years 
Yep. So yeah, taking orders on leech treadle wheels, by the way. Leech treadle wheels, you know the wheel I'm talking about. Uh, my carpenter gets back from his travels middle of August and he's going to want to know then the final tally. So if you're somebody who's sitting on a fence and you want a leech wheel, let me know. There's still, there's still uh, a week, perhaps. Uh, you have a week if you want to put in an order for one. All right. And also these t-shirts. You center the clay, the clay centers you. We have other t-shirts coming as well with other pithy, pottery <laughs> slogans on them. All right, thanks a lot, folks. Keep practicing. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Diddy, diddy, diddy. Ooh, clay's the way. Ha, ha, ha.